What's up, Chad? We got another video today about my Razer Macro. If you haven't already watched my other video about how to optimize and boost your Roblox FPS, I recommend you guys go watch that video. It'll help with making your macro smoother and faster. Also, if you guys enjoy this video and it works, please leave a like and subscribe. Let's get into the video. Please, I'm just yeah. trying to practice my macro. <laughs> <laughs> We can open up any browser. Then we want to paste the link Razer Synapse 3. All my links will be in the description. So we can download now. Run the file. Once it is done, we can go ahead and press install. Skip and continue. Then we wait for the installation to be done. Once here, we can press get started and then we can go ahead and log in or sign up. When we're signed in, we can go up top to modules. Then we want to scroll down and find macro. Then we can press add, install and restart. Then we just wait. Once installed, we can go up top to macro here. Now that it's installed, and then we can import our macro. You guys can join my Discord server, link will be in the description. And when you're in the Discord server, we can scroll down to macros and you can install my Razer macro. The other macro is optional. I just use that to quickly buy ammo and spam shoot. Now that we got the files, we can import them here. Select the macro. Make sure your delays match this. Then we can add the spam shoot and spam buy. And then we can add keybinds. So come over here and select your keybind. So we're going to put it to the mouse. Pick my mouse button. And then we can choose between toggle or hold. I like using hold, so I'm going to pick hold. Okay, that should be it for the macro. But if you wanted to spam buy and spam shoot, this is how it looks here. And you can add key binds for that too. This option is completely optional. You do not need this to macro, but I just find it very useful. That we got everything, we can hit save. And then we can go ahead and join a dohood game and test out the macro. One thing I find very helpful when trying the macro is closing all your tray icons that you don't need running in the background. So stuff that you don't need, close out of them. This will help you get more FPS. Same with Chrome or browser, whatever browser you use, make sure that's closed. And then we can go ahead and start our macro. The reason why we close everything is because it boosts our FPS having that stuff closed. Even though they're minimized, they're still using process in the background of our computer, which we don't want. If you do need it open for like music or anything, just minimize it. It'll be using less process than having it open. Now I'll be showing you guys what it looks like with macro abuse with the Razer macro. I'm going to show you guys here in a second how to adjust your delays because not everybody runs the same FPS. The higher the FPS, the smaller delay you can have. If you use a small delay on like a laptop or a bad PC, you'll notice very bad FPS drops or a really bad macro. In order to fix this, you can find what's the best delay for you and I'll show you guys how to figure that out. We can go back to the macro page and then here we want to hold control and click on all the functions. Here at properties, we can change our delay to 0.01. .01. This is what we'll try next and then we can keep going down. Although it does work, we still might be able to find a smoother and faster macro. So let's change the value 0.009 and press enter. As we can see, that was smooth, but we can go down another one 0 0.08 and then press enter. It's getting a little bit smoother and faster every time we'll do it again. Then we just want to find the one that's best for us out of all of those. 
and then we'll do the last one 0 0.006 you are able to go lower but the values that i gave in the video are going to be the best ones so you guys can figure out which one works the best and pick that i'll be dropping more videos about logitech and tgm uh, whenever i get my logitech mouse i'll drop a video but i'm able to do tgm soon that should be the end of this video if you guys haven't already watched that other video like i said that'll definitely help boost your fps so you'll get a better and smoother macro if you came from the tiktok put tiktok down in the comments i hope this worked and you guys enjoyed the video if it did please drop a like sub and share i'll see you guys next time with a tgm macro video